Hey Pentaholics, what's up? This is Nick here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining me, I just did my first uh, reaction to Pentatonix ever on this channel, and I was blown away. Um, the story goes that I watched Disturbed, and then a bunch of people requested that I need to go check out The Sound of Silence by Pentatonix. So I did that, and I really was not ready for what happened. Um, and there was a lot of questioning of, of like, is this real? And people were, you know, kind of uh, roasting me for saying that. Um, that was more me knowing it was real, but just being like, holy shit, like, how, how can this be? Right? Um, so thank you so much, first of all, for the education of like how they produce their music, what they sound like live, the change in members over the years. Um, I, I guess there have been like two or three people that have like, changed in the course of their their time here but they are a true true like foundation on youtube i which i didn't realize um but they perform all over now and now they're like you know basically you know global phenomena um i didn't know acapella could sound that good so i'm very excited to be doing hallelujah i'll make sure to uh speed this intro up here real quick but uh my understanding of hallelujah is primarily from leonard cohen and jeff buckley those are the two versions that I'm familiar with. Uh, Rufus Rainwright as well. Um, and then there's this one like Norwegian, I think Norwegian or Swedish version um, from the olden days on YouTube, um, Kurt Nilsson, that I adore. But um, I'm interested to see what Pentatonix does with this song here. So a quick reminder to make sure to go subscribe to them. I'll go do that right now. Like this video when you're done finishing this. Go and watch the video, even if you've seen it a billion times, which I know you have. Um, they deserve the support, right? And uh, if you like what you see here, hit subscribe, like, comment, all the normal stuff. It really does help this video get out to more people and it helps me. So, let's do this. I'm very excited. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this the don't Scott's voice is something else Don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You needed proof You saw her bathing on the roof Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew you She tied you to the kitchen chair She broke your throne and you to I don't know how you feel about pausing But it's going to be impossible for me not to pause a little bit because I need to address what's happening. I don't recognize the last singer there. Um, this guy. I don't know who this is. I don't think he was in the previous um, song that I listened to, The Sound of Silence. But he has this, he just almost croaked like a frog. And I mean that in a very good way. A musical frog. There was this little pocket of air. And damn, it's interesting to listen to. Um, of course, Scott's voice at the very beginning there. I think he's a bass or a baritone, right? Um, incredible, like just incredible. Um, and the harmony that's sort of like resonating in my ears, it sounds so fucking good. Like, um, sorry, I just had to say that right off the bat because his voice is spectacular. Um, don't know who he is yet, but. She 
tied you to the kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair And from your lips she drew the hallelujah 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 Goosebumps, man. Mitch's voice, dude. Um, I had to look them up a little bit before I did this video because I wanted to make sure I knew their names. Um, I didn't want to go in just like the guy with the hat, the guy with the earrings. He, well, self described as a tenor, right? Or I don't know if self described is the word, but his voice is like silky butter. I, yeah. Words can't really describe it, but this is like an amalgamation of all the best things in life and music coming together and just making this sort of like eargasm, like collective forces uniting, and I'm just, I'm here for it. But damn, Mitch, what? But all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. It's not Amazing. a cry that you hear at night It's not somebody who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken Hallelujah 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 That's Matt, right? He's the bassist, or the bass, uh, not the bassist, um, and he's like stomping his legs with the percussion in the song. It's very clever. I, I could see like the whole the whole way through, they've aligned a lot of what's been recorded with the music video. It's very clever. Uh, this must be Utah, Utah, if I had to guess. Maybe like SoCal somewhere in the desert.
guys so much for watching this video. We love you so much. We hope you love this song and all the songs on a Pentatonics Christmas. You can get that album. Just look in the description box below. I'm blown away, man. I'm blown away. They, they, they make humming sound so good. Like, humming never sounded so good. And, you know, it's just almost a miracle that it comes together and it sounds like that. Uh, I went off and off and off about post-production last video, which I kind of regret. I was just trying to figure out, like, how much of that was done behind the scenes, and I guess it's just a very little bit. I mean, even if that's the case, I'm still so fucking oppressed. I think the next course of action probably is to see them live. Uh, well, I love to actually see them live, but watch a video of them uh, performing live. But, um, you know, 10 out of 10 for this. Like, that is an incredible rendition of Hallelujah. And it's one of those timeless songs where I don't really have a favorite cover. Um, maybe this will become my favorite cover with a couple listens, right? Um, so many people have done it justice, but to do it justice, you need to really be top tier. And this certainly was top tier, uh, without a question, right? There's like four versions, maybe five that come to mind, and they've definitely reached that level. Um, I can hear people saying this is the number one. I'd have to listen to it again. And that's just because I'm so familiar with the other ones. Um, what I will say, though, is the fact that they have, what, like 300 videos? How many videos do they have? Like, it's nuts. How many videos do they actually have? 268 covers, right? Or maybe there's some originals. Like, that is an absurd amount of ability and talent that, that gets put to use all the time. Like, truly prolific. I am very, very excited to have, like, stumbled down this rabbit hole, and I certainly will be continuing. Uh, where should I go next? Please, please let me know in the comments. Uh, hit subscribe, like this video. I'd really appreciate the support. Um, it does help me quite a bit. I do have a Patreon. It's the number way, number one way I support myself here on YouTube. Um, link in the description. Um, but then, it's just a gentle reminder. Go subscribe to Pentatonix, and um, you're going to see them live. Watch their videos over and over again. I'm, I'm talking to, you know, appreciate the choir right now, because I know you're watching this video. You're a super fan. But, um, yeah. Original artists deserve all the love, so... I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much to every one of you. Take care.